Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and it's a different kind of unboxing today because it's a giveaway that I won from Charmed Wench. Um, I've been following Charmed Wench for I don't even know how long now, quite a while um, and I found her through Lucy Perface and she ran a giveaway on her Instagram and I just entered. Um, I am a genuine follower, just so you know, like, I didn't enter just for the giveaway, which I know some people do, so when I won it, I was like really surprised and happy um, and I'm just hoping that she's glad that it went to a genuine subscriber and not someone who just subscribed to it or followed it because they wanted to win something. So. I just feel like when there's so much crappy karma, or crappy karma, crappy things thrown my way recently, especially today, um, it's nice to win something and feel positivity around me. And this is very off centre today. I'm not a fan. There we go. So anyway, I got this pretty little card with it and it says... Um, she doesn't use her real name, so I'm not going to say her real name because I know it. But hope you enjoy the things you won after win a couple of extra things that you have that have only been swatched. Feel free to feel free to keep or pass on anything you don't want. Thank you for all your support on my channel. It means so much to me, Charmed Wench. She's lovely, and this is going to go into my little pile of cards from like boxes that I've got on stuff. And inside, this was so heavy, like you don't even know how heavy this feels right now like look at that like you can only see the masks at the top but charmed when she went and did that she did so this is like something i'm super excited to try um it's an illuminating mask pack and you've got like one step that's like step two is like the big mask a bit and then you've got like step three so these like little serums I think and I think it's like a K Beauty brand or a J Beauty brand but that's super cute and it will go in my drawer of masks and I do have a drawer of masks that's how mask crazy I am and this is another thing that I'm super happy about like I got a foot mask in another box and this is another foot mask and they are just so nice like on one of my feet especially i get really really dry thick skin and i don't know why it doesn't happen on my left foot it's just my right foot and these are just freaking amazing and um those are my second one that i've had so feeling happy about that these are just super pretty look at them i've got long lashes anyway but if you ever feel like i want to go glam for a night out which potentially could be happening quite soon because I now have more free weekends than expected. Um, this is, these are just, these are going on. These are going on. Absolutely love them. And next up, I, oh, when I saw this. <sighs> right, okay. If you are in the UK, getting hold of anything Colourpop is just ridiculous like the brand itself is a drugstore brand like the products are not expensive to buy but if you go through this thing called more box or something i think um like you ship it to more box and you have like a, a box in the us and then they ship it to you that works out quite expensive um like and you have to know the way of the products you're, you're purchasing and all that kind of stuff and then if you get it sent directly to you the risk of having to pay customs and not knowing how much those custom costs would be it's it's just a bit crappy if i'm honest and i just wish that color pop would sell in the uk we've got cool beauty we've got beauty bay you know there's like jeffree star manny you know juvia's place all those brands are based in the us are based overseas um you know are, are sold on beauty bay i'm not 100 percent sure why Colourpop doesn't but when I saw this it's Kathleen Lyons and Colourpop um glossy lip in the colour Alyssa and well it's an ultra lip stain actually and I say glossy lip it's not a glossy lip 
is a lip stain and look at that this is my first Colourpop product and I saw this and I was just like oh my god like you don't understand how excited I've seen the super super shock um bloody eyeshadows I've seen so many different things from Colourpop that I want I've seen the lippy sticks and I just I want everything and I'm annoyed that I can't get it. I can't risk shipping being ridiculous and cost and our customs coming out at like 50 quid or whatever it is because knowing what I want to buy, it would be that for me. <laughs> anyway, oh, what are these? What are these? Ooh, right, okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, we've got Douce or Douche, Douce. I'm going to call them douche. Um, 78 kit and 81 10 lit freematic single eyeshadow duo. So, you can get douce or douche or whatever, um, you know, palettes. And then there's like these interchangeable little, I'm just going to take this one off, little things. So, I'm just going to. Give you a little swatchy swatch. Oh, that's not pigmented, but it looks nice. Let's just give it another swatchy swatch. There we go, that's a bit better. So they're not pigmented first off, like I did have to give that a big a good rub. I don't think that's going to fit in my um, palette, and I don't think it's magnetic. Is it magnetic? Yeah, it is magnetic, but it doesn't fit in my palette. Bloody hell! I don't know where I'm going to put these in, but... The lighter one is called Kate and the darker one is called, I'll just drop the top on the thing, I can't even swatch properly now with this finger, the darker one, it's even more my thing, it's called Tenle, 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 81 Tenle is that one, it's more of a cool tone, love it, love it, gonna try him, I need something to, I'm just gonna wax. Don't try this at home because I just wiped the pigment all over my pants and the pyjama pants, so it's alright. So, next up we have the Model Co. Highlights. I've never tried these before. So, oh Jesus. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that shine? Can you see that shine? My swatching is ridiculous. I can't swatch for the life of me. And this is just so pretty. And it's called St. Bart's. And that's going in my to try box. Um, next up we have the Mellow Baked High Highlight, is not Mellow Baked Eyeshadow. And then it's obviously all the baked stuff that you get has like a little, like a, I say a little, let's just thumb swatch it because I've got nowhere else to. Oh, I didn't need that much. I didn't need that much. Jesus. That could be used as a highlight as well. Ooh. You don't need much of that. Shining, 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 shining. Yeah. I don't know where to put everything. Oh, my God, there's more at the bottom. Oh, my God. Charmed wench, what have you done to me? What have you done to me? Ooh. This is a Ted Baker London eyeshadow palette trio thing. Um, she would try and give them a swatchy swatch. So we'll do the bottom one, middle one, top one. She would try and swatch them this one, this way. Oh God, what even was that? What even was that, Ted Baker? I could build that up though, the buildable. The build them. So we'll try and build them up. Get in there. See, they are buildable. See, this is why I don't like doing swatches. Because you can't really tell. But this looks very pretty. So I'm going to use it. And then this is very intriguing as well. I don't know why I'm talking like this. But I am. This. Is Soap and Glory Lip Contouring Crayon. I've never tried a contouring crayon. I'm not about to try one today because these lips are Kat Von D today and they're staying that. It's called Pink Positive. 
and it's just shall we shall we do a swatchy swatch in here oh i did not need to press hard on that oh my word oh my word that is so pretty oh my god they are so creamy that is a lip liner and that is a lip crayon and this is going to be potentially my day to day colour because look at that swatchy swatch thank you i have got a desk full of mess now and i don't want to, don't know what to put down where do you know what i mean and then oh this got a bit squished in the post because this bag this bag this box was like full to the top this is the crabtree and evelyn london la sauce ultra moisturizing hand therapy and I don't think Charm Grinch even knew this, but I'm a massive fan of hand cream and hand sanitizer. And I've currently got the Planet Spa one from Avon and Lavender one. It's just, oh, and this can go on the list because let's, let's just try it. Obviously, you can't swatch. It's got a cover on it. You can't swatch hand cream, but you can smell it. Oh my days, that smells so pretty. Right, I'm not going to use any now because I'm just going to end up rubbing it all over these swatches, but smells so nice, so pretty. Um, this is the Glam Glow Next Up, Next Up, this is, I don't even know what I'm saying now. And um, this is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. I have one of these. Um, I wasn't a fan of the first one, but that I tried, but that I had like exfoliating crap in it that was like square exfoliating things and it was just not good for my skin and it felt awful. Um, but I don't think these ones have bits in, um, so I'm going to try these and see what, how these ones play out. Because Glam Glow is an expensive brand and if you're going to be buying... Not that I would buy masks at that price, not with the wage I'm currently on. But if you could buy masks at that price, you want them to work. You want them to feel like they're doing something positive for your skin and not drying your skin out and making you feel like you've not drank water for three days, which is how it made my skin feel. I felt like I needed to like bathe myself in oil and moisturiser for like a week. It was that dry and like, it was dry but leathery. It was just awful. So... Um, I'm hoping that this, these, I've got a mask, oh no, I think I've got a purple one as well. I'm hoping these redeem, redeem Glam Glow in my eyes. Not that they, they would give a crap what I think anyway, because I'm what, like, I'm on nobody to them, but you know what I mean? Anyway, tangent over, um, this is the Kajal Pencil Essence, from Essence, called Maritime, and ooh... That could be cool for a little mermaid type moment. I'm looking forward to using that. I'm wanting to do more sort of bold looks um, over the next couple of months. And again, because I've got more free time now. So video filming will be my thing. Drawing will be my thing. Um, yeah. So keep your eyes peeled for that one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is Peach Gold Liquid Face Illuminator from Pixie by Petra. It's a glow booster. Um, I'm guessing you could put these like on their own. I think I squirted out too much. I think you could put these on your own or under foundation. But I put far too much on my hand because, as you can see, like that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh what is life? What is life, people? And in this tiny little tube, tiny little twelve mil tube, um, I've got the tiny little bit, and it really does just give your skin like such a gorgeous glow. But I really do think I use a bit too much. <laughs> that could probably do my full face. Just you know what I mean. Um, we've still got more people. We've still got more. This is a stress check breathing from this works. Do you know what? I was gonna open this yesterday. And film it when my partner was watching whatever he wanted to watch. I was going to just come in and film it and get it edited. But 
I'm really, <laughs> it's really strange that after everything that's happened today, I will link the video up there if you're interested in what happened today, then this stress check, breathing, I'm, I'm hoping this works because I really need it today because I have the headache of all headaches from crying like a, my, my language, I'm going to swear, I'm crying like a bitch for like three hours. Um, I'm so happy to get this. I'm just, I think, I think it's just fate that I got this at this moment in time because I've got a mask to pamper myself, lashes to make myself feel pretty lipstick from a brand that I've wanted to try for ages got friggin highlighters to like to the gods with glow boosters it's just everything to make me feel better about myself and this couldn't have come at a better time and I'm gonna stop going on about it because it's gonna make me cry again and I've got makeup on not today, Satan, not today. Um, this is a Bella Pierre Shimmer Roll. So let's just, oh, 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 didn't think of that, didn't think of that. It's not a liquid shimmer roll, it's a powder one. Jesus Christ. Look at that, look at that. Oh my word, what is, what is going on with my swatching today, people? Look at the mess. I didn't, I didn't read it, I didn't read it, it just said shimmer roll, and I just thought, ah, I said mica, should have read the ingredients and I would have realised it was a, a dusty one, and oh god, I think I might empty that out into a pan and press it, because I'm not a fan of it rolling off that, if I'm honest, that could get very messy, but the pigment and the shimmer, is just amaze balls, so yeah, queen. Anyway, um, this is oh my god, I'm sure like Charmed Wench. I know she watches my videos, but I'm sure she like she's a mind reader because I'm sure I said to Sussex Sandra the other day that like I really need some good treatments for my hair because it's so dry, and lo and behold, Moroccan oil has just been popped into my giveaway box um, and it's a treatment oil for all hair types so I'm going to try this oh, I knew that was going to happen why do I decide to do that sorry I knew I put a blue bottle in front of a friggin thing and it's just turned a different colour again okay and this is the last thing and I'm just Super glad it was in the bottom because it's the thing that I've been trying to get to for the past 10 minutes of the video. And this is the Ruby Cosmetics Smouldering Eye Eyeshadow Kit. I'm going to take this plastic bit off. And this is what it looks like. I need to clear my desk. My desk is a mess. My life is a mess. My desk is a mess. Oh, look at my hands now. Look at, like... I'm going to need to clean up before I go out to Primark R. Otherwise, people in this field are going to think that she don't last her mind, child. Um, but yeah, once again, like I know this was a random giveaway and she didn't pick me on purpose. And she did like a random draw, which is just crazy that I won three giveaways in like one week. But I'm just so thankful for the extra bit she put in there as well. Um, anyone that does a giveaway, um, what people don't realise is I see people, I'm just going to clean my hands off while I talk, I do see people moaning sometimes in the giveaway saying, oh they're only giving this away, oh they're only giving that away, oh they're only doing a small giveaway. In all fairness people, nobody needs to do a giveaway. Nobody, there's no rules in the blogger, YouTuber, you know, community that says, you know, you have to do giveaways at, at like, different points in your career. Um, or, you know, you have to do, like, you know what I mean? There's no rules that say you have to do giveaways. So, the fact that someone does a giveaway in the first place, I think people should just appreciate it. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's my two cents. So, I appreciate that she's done the giveaway. And I fully appreciate the fact that she put extra bits in there that no doubt cost her more in packaging um, because the weight of that thing 
was ridiculous. Um, so thank you, Charmed Wench. I love your video. I love your content. Makeup skills are. Um, yeah. So if you do like videos like this, and you do like me, then please like this video. Click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that is down there. Leave a comment, a nice comment. Anyway, the last few videos have not been very snappy from me. They've been a bit of a... I'm in a talking mood, but I'm not in a talking mood where I want someone sat next to me right now talking to me. I'm in a talking mood where I just want to like get my words out, which is good for this kind of thing. Um, I will leave some videos linked around the end of this video that you may want to check out. If you're into long videos, I'll probably link one up here. Um, for the reason why today is a particular shitty day. And then I will link some fun ones over here. Um, some fun unboxings for you, hopefully. And maybe a, a makeup look or two. Um, so yeah, if you do like me... Please just let me know. <laughs> um, until next time, we can be happy and stay true to you. Hope you all have a fabulous weekend. And I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.